Welcome to the beautiful island of Exuma. It's just peace of mind and relaxation. It's just chilling out. You know, you just eat after you eat. You go in the water, you chill out, you have drinks. You can, you can go and have kung salad, feed the stingrays. So beautiful. The water is so colorful and, you know, sunny, great and sunny all the time. Exuma probably has more beaches than any island in the Caribbean. And you can have the ultimate experience of sitting on a sandbank two to three miles long and just enjoying it by yourself. Well, there are several nice beaches in the island. My favorite beaches, though, is down at Little Exuma. It's a really, really beautiful little beach. And that is my favorite beach, including the water there, because I think it's the prettiest blue you will see in Exum. Mariah Harbor, which is just over the, the horizon here, is, I would have to say, is one of, the, one of the, the most beautiful spots I've ever been in. So you go down there for the full day, and it's just no one but you and the sun, the sand, and the sea, and that's it. If you come to the island of Exuma, it all depends on how you want to vacation. You can encounter some great fishing, and just if you want to do some snorkeling or just lie around the beaches. Um, you could go to see the swimming pigs, but then you could come go on the chat and jill where you could enjoy yourself. Then you could go to a place called Starfish Beach where you can see starfish in the water. See the sandbar, the sea caves, go for a nice relaxing snorkel trip on a big reef. Once I take people here, it kind of helps you, like I say, to answer some of those questions that have been not allowing you to really relax. Every year we have this festival here called Regatta. And um, it's held here at Georgetown Exuma. You got boats coming from all around the Bahamas, you know, just to compete here in this, this, this event. You've never seen nothing like this in your whole entire life. Get on one of these local boats. The idea of Chat and Chill is to break barriers down. You come in, you meet new people, you meet new friends. Our Kong Burgers are world famous, as well as our fish cook on the grill. Guests who come here for the experience of Kong Salad. Uh, the Bahamian ceviche made from freshly made conch, right out of the water. Santana's is a business run by my husband and my daughter and myself. He goes out about 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, gets the group and the lobster, bring it in. People see it fresh off the table. That's what brings most of my business back because they know it's fresh. You must have all of those authentically Bahamian food right here in Exuma at the fish fry. You can't leave unless you try it. I recommend the fish fry on a Saturday night. It's a hoot. You can get varieties of food cooked with different spices. The seafood, the crack count, or the, the, the grouper is, is very, very good. Fresh count, fresh grouper, it's very nice. The best kept secret about Exuma, I would say probably is the south side of Exuma. Most people don't know how to go there except for those who bone fish. You can actually go and enjoy the mangroves and see uh, all types of fish, birds, etc., and also swim with them. It is a, a, an aquatic uh, safari, and I recommend it highly. For the most part, people like to go snorkeling and beaching. And what they'll see when they're snorkeling ranges from all different kinds of colors and shapes of corals and fish and grouper. And just some of the reef around here is probably um, comparable to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. We'll always seems to run into something, you know, out there, a stingray or a dolphin or some bonefish or, you know, something is always happening, you know, you can always see something in action. When you do come to Exuma, ask for Luther, I will be there and you will have a great time. Visit Exuma once, you will, you will always come again. <laughs>